Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. I am talking to you from my rental car. I'm on the road for business this week. And I'm going to apologize in advance if my audio is not the greatest. I did not bring podcasting gear with me on this trip. But I did bring a ham radio. And if I can't get the audio cleaned up enough, well, hopefully it's good enough for you to understand what's going on. I just wanted to show you a quick tip and I'm going to show you on the IC705, but this will apply to the 7300, the 7610, the 7100, any of the more recent, by recent, like within the last eight or nine years, ICOM radios that have a built-in clock. Let's take a look. So here is my 705 set up in the rental car. This is not the normal operating position. This is a position where I could film it and have the glare not be too bad. So again, hopefully the audio is okay. I wanted to talk about the clock display and that's in the upper right hand corner here. And you'll notice mine says 1603 or well 1604, which is 404 PM. And on this radio, and I believe most of the icons are the same with this. If you touch the display right up where the clock is, It'll bring up the full clock and it shows 1604 and then the UTC 2104. Unfortunately, 1604 is not the time where I'm at. It is actually 504 p.m. because I'm on the East Coast this week. And I have found, especially if I'm using that clock for logging anything, that it always gets confusing because it's, is it local time and which local time is it and, uh, and so on. So this is a little bit of a personal preference tip, but I find this to be a lot easier to deal with and I've started doing it on all of my radios. If you go into settings for the clock, you press menu and then touch set. And then we need to scroll down and it's on the third page it says time set so we're going to touch time set and you have date and time which is where you set the date and time and on the 705 you can have it sync with gps and all of that cool stuff but even if you don't have that there is also utc offset and right now mine is set to minus five which is correct for central daylight time where I'm normally at. Again, if you move around a lot, I think you'll find this more convenient. I certainly do. So if you're like a motorhome full-timer or RV full-timer, or you just have places that are in different time zones, I'm gonna actually change this to just be zero because with a zero offset, now the display that's in the upper right-hand corner is just showing UTC. And the reason it's showing UTC is because clock or local time and UTC time are now the same. There is no setting, as far as I know, to choose whether this upper display is UTC or your local time with the offset. So I just set the offset to zero. And then that way, no matter what time zone I'm in, I know this is UTC. So if I'm going to use it for logging, then I know that it's UTC time. I don't need to do any math in my head. I just write that down and my logs are in UTC and I'm good to go. If I need to know the local time, this doesn't show the local time anymore. And I suppose I could do math to figure that out. But I have a watch. I have a phone. I have a lot of different ways that I can tell what the local time is. So that's not really that big a deal for me. I set that at UTC and I think that's the most convenient. Again, this is a personal preference. Maybe you don't wanna do that, but if you travel a lot, just a suggestion you might find helpful. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.